Attention, the following is completely AI generated and I am going to show you exactly how I did this. Hey, hello, and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Flow Motion. Today, I want to show you what's really possible with AI video generation. Not just those five second viral clips that pop up on social media, but results that actually look professional, something you could easily imagine in TV or even cinema. And as a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to add yourself to the shot at the end of this video. So make sure to watch this until the end or skip to it. In my professional work, one thing I often get asked for is realistic backgrounds for green screen shots or scenes that are just impossible to film in real life, like shooting at the Times Square or at the Trevi Fountain in Rome, where it's always packed with tourists. So for this video, I wanted to recreate something similar, a place that's usually full of people, but completely empty. My inspiration was the movie 28 Days Later and those famous shots of an abandoned London. Hey, and believe me, I went to the University of Trial and Error a lot of times. But now that I have done that, you don't have to. I decided to recreate that look using Adobe Firefly. At first, I tried a very simple prompt. Something like... Empty streets of London, establishing drone shot, recognizable landmarks. But very quickly I realized one of the biggest issues with AI video. It's not really art directable. Every render feels like rolling the dice. You never know what you're going to get. So instead I changed my workflow completely. I started with image generation. This is faster, more flexible and less cost intensive. And it is way easier to remove or add something in an image than in a video. So now we start to get something like art direction. I created this still frame here, same prompt, but it had cars on the bridge. So I jumped into Photoshop and simply removed the cars, fixed a few details and added some extra elements for realism. And by the way, you can also do this directly within Firefly over here. And that's where things started to look amazing. Because when you control that first frame, you can really art direct the look and feel before any motion happens. Then I used the edited image as a start frame in Firefly. I kept the prompt super simple. Something like the camera pushes in or slow motion shot. Because now you have defined the look and all you need to do now is work on the camera. After rendering the clip, I brought it into After Effects for the finishing touches. I used the 3D camera tracker to extract a virtual camera and reference points. Then I created a null object and attached extra elements. For example, I added this meteor impact in the first shot. Again, something you can spend hundreds of tries and prompts and credits with, but a simple task in After Effects. In another shot, I did some background retouching as well, as there were some small issues that can be fixed and don't need any regeneration. I did some color grading and even retimed a few clips to slow them down a bit. Just make sure to enable that optical flow switch here by clicking it two times so the slow motion stays smooth and natural. Oh, and by the way, the music in this video was also generated with AI. Link in the video description. And as a last tip, I want to show you how I added myself into the scene. Again, just with a picture of me. I added it in Photoshop and removed the green background. Then with the new amazing Harmonize tool, I integrated myself perfect into the scene with just one click of a button.
And again, use that image as a start frame for the video generation. Super simple, but super powerful. So this is just one example of how AI video generation can actually be used in a professional context. Not just for quick fun clips, but for real production. And in my next tutorial, I'll show you a few more ways to push this even further, like creating a car driving scene and even motion graphics that look production ready for commercials or cinematic use. And I really love to hear from you. How are you already using AI in your professional work to make your clients happy or to speed up your creative workflow? Let me know in the comments down below. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun saving prompts and credits.